<sighs> Hello. Mike Smith? Yeah, that's me. Good morning. My name is David Parks. Calling from the employee managed branch of Fatsper Entertainment Incorporated. How can I help you? You have been chosen to be the new night watch for Freddy Fatsper's pizzeria, located in Arlington Avenue. Really? That's how I've been involved. Fantastic! When do I start? Uh, let me see. Tonight. Today? Seriously? Yeah, that's how it stands in your contract. I guess I forgot that part. Be at the establishment by 6 p.m. You will be given your uniform, a tour of the premises, and essential instructions regarding your job. Alright, I will be there. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, Mr. Schmidt. Goodbye. Yes! I knew I was the best applicant they had. Well, time to make a few calls. Sir, we are closing. You need to come back tomorrow. Uh, no. My name is Mike Schmidt. I'm the new Night Watch. Right this way. Henry, that new replacement is here. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Rachel. Just a second. Wait here. Pleasant. Fancy machines. Yes, they are. You must be Mike Schmidt. Yes, that's me. Henry Williams, senior guard of this fine establishment and the one that oversees everything. Nah, don't worry about her. She's just tired. It was a very busy day. The animatronics performed well. Speaking of them, do they have names? Or... Oh, yes. The bunny's name is Bonnie. He's the guitarist of the band. Then there's Chica, the chicken with the cupcake. She's the backup singer. Then there's Freddy Fazbear, named after the owner Fred Fazbear. And lastly, over there inside the Pirate Cove is Foxy, but he's at the moment out of order for maintenance. Nice. Uh, how many other employees work here? Not many anymore. We're very short on resources as we speak, so we can't afford to hire new employees all the time. In fact, we had to lay two employees off about a week ago. Besides we two, there aren't any other guards. You handle the night watches while I handle the days. We've also got one chef, three regular employees, and a part-time janitor who hastily cleans this place every morning. God, that guy's weird. Wow, you are really understaffed for a pizzeria. Yeah, well now we got you. That's better than nothing at least. Come, let's get you ready for your shift. Not a bad uniform. I like it. That must be Scott calling. Henry said he would call. Oh, hello! I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. I actually worked in that office before you. I know it can be a bit overwhelming, so let's just focus on getting you through your first night, okay? Well, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced within 90 days. Blah, blah, blah. That's an now, odd thing to state. Bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. 
So remember, why is this dude still talking? Why does he fancy working here when he could be a politician? <laughs> they used to be allowed to walk around during the day too, but then there was the bite of '87. A bite? Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. You know. What the hell? Uh, now concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any is the fact that these characters won't recognize you as a person. They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a suit. Holy shit. Now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with animatronic devices. So you can imagine not having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of death. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Alright, good night. myself into how do I switch this futuristic thing on one of them is missing where did it go it's not like it could go home or something stupid thing That's great. The duck is left too. Or was it a chicken? You fancy moving too? What? I know I look handsome and all, but I don't date machines. Go look at Chica or something. I swear, I heard it speak. Not now! <laughs> this sure is the best moment for a- I can't die like this! Ugh, damn it! Why me? Why does it have to be me? Who is locked down in the basement? Oh, it's Mike. Who was the boy that got ran over by the bus? Mike. Oh, how about the boy that life maltreats in every single turn. I wonder... Oh, what a surprise. It's me again! It's always fucking me! It was never Jeremy. It was never Chuck. It was always me! So if you wanna stuff me, then fucking do it already! Because you'll be doing me a huge favor! How do you know my name? Of course I know your name. We all remember you. What? We remember you, Mike. 1984. You and me were at Freddy's at the time with our parents. When a man came by and asked us if he wanted to play a new arcade game, the man said it was in the kitchen way back in the back room. We followed the man into the room when suddenly the lights went out. Now let me get this straight. Those things napped you, but they didn't stuff you in a suit? Yes. And then Freddy Fazbear himself talked to you and told you that he's an old friend of yours that David Parks murdered in the 80s 
and now they possess those mascots up on the stage? Yeah. And now they need your help to get their revenge and to be able to move on? Exactly. Are you sure you weren't dreaming? Yes. My mind has concealed the memories of what happened that day, so I was able to cope with it when I was younger. James brought the details back into my mind. I remember everything now. It was Parks, there's no doubt about it. So it wasn't Peter? Huh. I always thought he had an accomplice hiding somewhere in the shadows. Peter? The original guard and the former head manager before he went missing. Come back. Uh, that crazy bastard set the whole place on fire. I need to get out of here somehow. Uh, even if it's the last thing. <laughs> oh, no you don't. Oh, man! Yes! I win! Well played, Mike. Do you have any more tokens? Nah, I'm ball out. That was my last token. That was a great match, though. Yeah, definitely. Hey, guys, check out what I just got. Sweet. It looks cute. It does, doesn't it? Gosh, now I want one. <laughs> That's easy. Come with me. I think you support pizza. You can't live off pizza all the time. Show you the path. Please, no! That's what you get. Shit. Now I know what those brief glimpses I've been seeing during the night are. The events of my friends being murdered in that dirty back room. Now I just need to keep my promise to James and Laura Parks into the pizzeria. But how? Hello? Good morning, Mr. Schmidt. Hello, Mr. Parks. I need you to drop by the office later today and meet me. You have been keeping a record of your activities like I told you to. Of course I have. What do you think I am? Uh, I don't know yet, but we'll soon find out. I decide if you get to keep your job. So watch your mouth, Schmidt. Oh, sorry. 3 p.m., third floor, my office. Be on time. 
Goodbye. Fucking piece of shit. Hey, it's me. What's up, mate? Nothing good. I feel like today's not gonna end well. Something wrong? David fucking Parks just called me and said that he wants to meet me. The guy that murdered my friends. Did he tell you what he was about? Yeah, something about having to meet me in person and needing to confirm. Oh man, this is not good. Alright, take a deep breath and let's think this through. Maybe he won't recognize you. Nine years after all. But are we willing to take that risk? Risk my life? That he won't recall me? Alright, just keep going. We need to think rationally. Yeah, you're right. So, didn't your friend James tell you they need to get him into the pizzeria somehow in order for them to do their part? Yeah. You meeting him in person is probably the best way to get him to visit the joint. There are so many things that could go wrong here. Of course, such is life. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Thanks for the words of confidence, you know. I'll call you back right after the meeting. I'll be waiting. I'll be for you. Good luck. I guess I'm really doing this. For my friends, and for myself. That asshole will pay for what he has done. But first, I will take a nap. Good day. My name's Smith. I'm here to have a meeting with David Parks. Good day to you. Mr. Parks is waiting for you. Room 13. Thank you. This will be here at any moment. Oh, there you are. Just in time. It's been a while since I've been in this office. It reminds me of the past. I think we should focus on the future rather than the past. Mike, meet Fred Vatsper. Fred, meet Mike. Pleasure to finally meet you, sir. It's an honor. Son, there's no need to be so sincere and formal with me. Just call me Fred. Everyone here just calls me Fred. I heard great things about you, Mike. In fact, this is your fifth week here of working at Freddy's, and you're still alive and breathing. Tells me that you're doing a fantastic job. I understand you'd be keeping a log of your hours in the pizzeria. Uh, it's not as much as a log as it is a... Uh... Does it really matter, Parks? No, Fred. May I see it? You can't be serious. Parks, pack your bags. You're relocated. Wait, what? What the fuck is this? You heard me. You can't do that to me! Yes, I can. The fuck you can! I will sue you! <laughs> you seem to have forgotten one thing, Alexei <laughs> Vorgan. We didn't make an official contract. See, I could just hand you over to the police if I wanted to, so shut the fuck up and do what I told you to do, or listen to your dad in prison. Either way works for me. Congratulations, Mike. You are now a staff manager at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Uh, wow. I apologize for that. I trust you won't speak about what happened. Of course. I, I won't, sir. I, I mean, Fred. 
I got a very important meeting to attend to, so I will tell you the essentials of your job a bit later. For now, make yourself at home. How can I help you, David? You got the wrong guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's Mike. It actually went better than I expected. Oh yeah? I got promoted, and Parks got demoted. <laughs> he got demoted to Night Watch. <laughs> what does that mean? That he'll be coming to the pizzeria? Sounds about right. Fred didn't leave him many options. I will be there when Parks gets what he deserves, though. You wanna come too? Totally. Great. I'll come by to pick you up before midnight. Can't wait. <sighs> From a guard to a manager. Finally, things are going my way for once. Nice car you got. Came with the new gig. Have to drive in style when you are a manager. This is it, huh? This is it. My friends get freed and Parks gets what's coming to him, no matter the cost. So you got promoted. That's neat. Yeah, apparently. Fred sees some kind of potential in me. I don't know what, though. It's kind of awesome. Congrats on the promotion. So if there's any problem, I can tell you? Guess so. You know, there's one thing. It's been on my mind for a while, but Parks being, well, Parks, I haven't really wanted to bring it up. What is it? I just feel like since I've been doing this gig for almost seven years and done a lot to boost things up, I deserve a better salary. You know what? I think you deserve a lot more than just a raise. I'll look into that after all of this blows over. What are you doing? You said it yourself. Whatever it takes. It could be anywhere. He's in here anymore. No. I saw another car in the parking lot. He's got to be here. Uh, what do we do? You tell me. You're the one with the gun. Alright. Uh, let's move up slowly. We treat every corner like it's hot. Stay close to me and watch our backs. Let's check the office first. Follow me. Hey. What's up? Look at this. This doesn't look good. Mike! James! Oh no, this can't be happening! The, 
the, the, the new security guard. He, 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 he attacked us. We, we, we tried to fight back, but we, we, we aren't killing machines. The guard is Parks. I'm going to kill that fuck. My, my, Mike, we, we aren't going anywhere be, 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 being like this. So, 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 so you need to take Parks out for us. There's, 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 there's no other way. We're counting on you, Mike. Mike Smith. James? No. What's that? What's what? Parks in the boiler room. Which means? It means we need to stop him right now. <laughs> Next time you wanna sneak up on someone, you need to be more quiet. I could hear you two coming a mile away. Fuck you. Oh, Mike. I demand a little respect. Yeah. You get no respect from me for what you did to my friends. You mean back in 84. I've had my share of murders since then. You are the only one that has ever managed to avoid getting murdered. That's about to change. I still remember your girlfriend, Mike. Chloe, was it? I think it was Chloe. Was it? Was it Chloe? I remember how she begged for you to come back after you ran away. Mike, please, go back. Look at me, Chloe. Oh, was so beautiful, I remember. What a beauty. Did you find her beautiful? Did you? I know you did. You can hate me as much as you want to, but I got no regrets for what I've done. The cuts and organs I get for my murders, they go to a good cause and they pay good. And I mean really good. So, at the end of the day, you can't say your friends died for no- Ugh. So, you really like to dance? Then let's fucking dance. Asshole! No, I shouldn't. I should just lock the door and leave you here to suffer. That's what you really deserve. Yes. Then, why don't you? You're not that kind of loose end you leave untied. Let's get you out of here. You had me worried, man. For a while there, I thought you were gonna let that bastard live. Huh? Wow, Chris. Is the birthday party so boring that even the birthday boy falls asleep? Leave me alone, Iris. I'm trying to stay awake, but it's not easy. It's just been hard to sleep. Big Brother trouble again? Worse. Have you ever seen, like, the Nightmare Freddy? Nightmare? I mean, I've had a bad dream or two about them. They're creepy, Chris. Look at them on stage. Just shaking, creaking around like that. 
bats and then they come off and walk around. No, not Fred Bear. Freddy, the brown bear, and Foxy and Bonnie and Chica. Like from the cartoon hey, show? Cut it like out. Like Fred Bear and Friends? Yeah, oh, I've Buddy, seen them every night. They creep around my house, Iris. How's sales going for tokens today? Um, uh, pretty good, sir. Pretty good. It's Fred, man. Everyone here just calls me Fred. Right. Sorry. It's fine. You've only been here, what, a few months? We haven't really talked much, but, uh, I'm happy to have you on board. I'm happy to be here, Fred. Really, I, I haven't been around town long, and God, this is a nice place to work. Suck. Stupid brother's wasting a perfectly good Saturday with this crap. Hey, 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 don't mess with that! Those are expensive! And dangerous! They're in automated mode right now. Can you please go back to your tables and enjoy the show from there? Whatever, man. This place sucks, dude. Pfft. Shit. It just made the top of but my hey, shit list. Uh, you handled that well. Keep it up, Peter. And we'll see about you becoming um, one of the managers or something. <laughs> of course. Thank you, sir. Uh, I mean, thank you, Fred. It's no problem, Peter. You do good by me, I'll do good by you, man. Think you'd want one of those plush traps? Yeah, maybe. I don't have one of those yet. That's the Bonnie? Yeah, they're like a thousand and two hundred tickets. We could pull together if you want to. <sighs> that might be fun. Hey, loser! Happy birthday! Terrence, stop! Yeah, Terrence, stop! He's gonna cry! <laughs> you freak me out, Terrence. I'll tell Mom. If you want to keep that stupid bear, you won't tell mom shit. You guys are such bullies, seriously? Back off, it's Chris's birthday! Can it, you little bitch. I can't believe you need a girl to defend you, Chris. Wow, your brother's kind of a baby, isn't he? It's hilarious. Why don't we help him get a closer look? He'll love it! No, please! Come on, guys. Let's give the little man a lift. He wants to get up close in person. No, I don't want to go. You heard the little man. He wants hey, to get even closer. You kids, <laughs> back up a mistake. Hey, guys. Peter, Peter. I think hey, the little man hey, said he wants to give Fred Bear a big don't kiss. Don't that, kid. On three. Kid. One, kid. two. Please, Darren, I'm scared. Man. Stop yeah. fucking around, man! I, Chris, mm -hmm. Chris, stop. I can't be here. Yeah, man. What did you do? I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh god, I, I'm, I'm so fucking ruined. Everything's fucking lost. Everything's lost. It's... it's not. What are you, stupid? A, a kid is... Don't just look at it like that, Peter! Call the police! I... can make this work. What? Stop it! Call the police! Stop yelling so loud. Everyone is in a panic, okay? No one is really sure about what happened. I can make this disappear. You won't have to close, Fred. I... No. How could you ever make this work? I don't know yet, but trust me, we're in this together, right? Right. Right. You're broken, but I can put you back together. Victor, it's Fred. Uh, Fred Bear's family diner is closed, do you understand? We need those new animatronics now. We're opening the new store in just a few days, okay? You... I don't care, I don't care what you have to do. You make them work. You, you take the pieces out of the old one if you have to. You make the new ones work, okay? This is not going to fail me. Uh, 
hey there, boys and girls, it's Fred, owner of Fred Bear's Family Diner and creator of Freddy Fazbear. I just wanted to thank all of you for coming out and enjoying some pizza with me and my friends, so without further ado, I'd love to introduce to you my best animatronic friend, Freddy Fazbear. Hey everyone, it's your old friend Freddy Fazbear, and thanks for coming out to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza! And don't forget about me, your best buddy buddy body. <laughs> I've got my guitar tuned and I'm ready to play, Freddy. That sounds great, Bonnie. Don't forget me, guys. I'm Chica. Let's eat. There's some pretty amazing pizza here, guys. We can't eat pizza all the time, Chica. <laughs> right. We have a job to do, Chica. But we're not all here, Freddy. We're not? Uh-oh, who are we missing? Foxy! Foxy? Where could he be? Hey kids, where do you think Foxy could be? <sighs> Mom, this place is so boring. No, Jonathan. You love Freddy's, remember? Yeah, when I was little. You're still little, Jonathan. No, I'm not. Well, we're still waiting on your dad to get off work. When he is, then we're all going home together. Did you want more pizza? Or get some ice cream from the buffet. I'm gonna go find the other kids to play with then. Jonathan! Ugh. Fine. But be safe. This is so stupid. <laughs> Bears Pizza! I'm Chica. Let's eat. I'm your best friend, Bonnie Bunny here. And everyone knows me, Freddy Fazbear! <laughs> Is everybody having a good time? Because I sure know that I am. I could use some more, 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 help me, more pizza. There's plenty of delicious pee 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 people, delicious pizza when you're at Freddy's Pizza, Chica. You can't live off pizza all the time, Freddy. <laughs> you you can't. can't? Can't leave. When you're eating, kids, remember to have plenty of kids. Green, 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 plenty of green vegetables, kids. And all, all you young bunnies need to have your, your carrots. Please run. Health is important if you want to live, 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 live. Have a fun and happy children. Fun and happy time at Freddy Fazbear's <laughs> Hey, Chica! Yeah, Bonnie? 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 You know what I do to have fun? fun, fun, fun? Is it the games? N -n nope. Is it the pi Don't let them escape Pirate's Cove? Not even close! Well, what is it, Bonnie? I like to sing! <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? L -l -l Let's rock out the band! One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh... Hey, all you pirate fans, head on down, on down, down, down to the pirate cove because the show's about to start. It's our good old pal, Foxy. Foxy. Never accept me. I know he's around here somewhere. Always alone. <laughs> we need to call him out! Foxy! Not one of them. Help me out, kids! Foxy! Eat them. Last time, kids, nice and loud! <laughs> so we can get him out here! Foxy! Yar, me mateys! It's me, Foxy! And welcome, and welcome, and welcome to the Pirate's Cove! Freddy best be getting back to the stage, or I'll be for forced to cut the pig. For for forced to make him walk the plank. <laughs> Have fun, kids, and let's kill, 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 kill them. Keep ourselves safe when exploring pirate tools. <laughs> you best be getting back to the stage, land lover, because these little ones are now part of the pirate's crew. When in the Pirate Cove, remember to adventure safe kitties, and no running around the cove, or else ye be lost forever. Ye be, be, be walking the plank. 
Aye, is it swashbuckling adventures that you be seeking, uh, the lads? Or, or, or is it that... Or, 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 or is it that you're not akin to the Seven Seas? All pirates, give me an arg, an arg, an arg, an arg. Please help me. Ah, <laughs> arg. I be seeing you already walking about, about, about with your pizza in hand and your... Your suits against God. Your, your, your sooty pops like proper sea pee pirates. And like proper sea pirates do. Mommy, Mommy, we'll be look. We'll be having ourselves a the sea shanty. What happened to the legs on it, Mom? That's nice, dear. Don't climb on it. That's a hook for him. That's a hook, Mom. Girl, sweetie, you can't get that close to Foxy. It's not a... You really shouldn't be up there. You're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, ma'am, please ask your daughter to get off the stage. She's not hurting anyone. Let her play with the fox if she wants to play with the fox. Mom, look at his Not funny mouth. He's so stupid looking. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. My god. It's me. Ah, hey boss. Hey Gordon, look. I know it's your last week and all, and college is important and everything, but you sure I can't convince you to stay on? Sorry boss, them's the rules. If I want to keep my car, I have to raise my grades, and this job takes up too much valuable study time. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Corporate's been getting on my butt as well since that incident with the kid. Oh yeah, I heard about that. <sighs> Scary stuff. You're telling me. I was there. Saw the thing bit out the front of her head. The doctor said it took out a chunk of her brain. I told the little snot not to get close. But as well, I guess she'll listen better next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Till corporate works out what to do, we have Foxy shut down. So keep the curtain closed on him. And the computer... Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. Everything okay? Yeah, I... Just thought maybe I heard. Never mind. What's up? Uh, I was gonna say, the computer guys had to come out today and change the chips or the discs or something in the animals. So there may be some uh, glitches. Glitches? Uh, yeah. They wanted to make sure there's no more errors with the biting. So they changed the software to ensure that all the animatronic parts are covered at all times. They can't be without an animal suit. Also, they're changing the bunny's voice to being a girl's or something. That's... weird. Yeah, I know. I guess corporate said it tested better or something. I don't know. If you see anything weird, don't freak out. The place isn't haunted. Yet. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it that way. I hear that. Let me know if anything interesting happens. I'll see you at six. Yeah, Good night. <clears throat> Crap. What? What the hell? Someone better not have taken it. There's Chica. There's Bonnie. Where the hell did the other one go? Not me. Hello? Hey, I'll call the cops. Let's see. Let's see. Holy God. Some delicious pizza. Don't you guys switch off at What the hell? You know what I I do for fun? What I do for fun? I like to eat pizza. I like to eat people. Pizza? You're next. What the hell? Has everything gone crazy? I need to call the computer techs back to fix this. Forgotten me. 
they're still here. Good. I guess they didn't upgrade you since you're out of order. Maybe the number's in the security room. At least I can get away from the- What the- What the fuck? Rule breakers be walking, walking, no, 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 no. My fault. Walking the plank. <laughs> no running. Join us. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Man, come on. Peter. Peter, are you in your office? Come in, Fred. Hey. The store's still running? I thought, I thought we were shut down since we can't use the animatronics. Nah. There might shouldn't be a reason that we shut down. We still have the old springlock suits from Fred Bears. I've had the employees and myself walking around in those instead. You can't do that. Those things are dangerous. They're the whole reason that we went full animatronic. The, the locks on all the animatronic parts on the inside are faulty. If you if you so much as breathe wrong, brush one of those things, it, it'll crush you to death. You know that. Everyone gets training on them. Don't worry. Peter, the police are still going through everything with me, but... This isn't looking good. And you're not helping me at all with this. It's looking... What are you doing? Dismantling them. Why? That was Victor's job. You can't mess with these things. They're, they're evidence now. Victor hasn't showed up in days, remember? He took your cash and he ran. Remember? Yeah. How could I forget? You guys screwed us. You. Excuse me? He screwed you. I don't own this company. You don't? I, I'm sorry. How many times have I stuck my neck out for you, you ungrateful asshole? You can't abandon me when the shit hits the fan. Fred, why do you think I'm doing all this? Victor's not here to hide your tracks. I'm doing it for you. You're covering your own tracks. The shit that's going wrong here is you. The people disappearing, the... The deaths... I've been covering you. I've been covering for you for years. And why is that? I'm not your family. I'm not your friend. I'm not even a business partner. Who would ever believe that you have a reason to cover my tracks? If anything, I'm the one you, doing you a favor for all these years. You are my friend. We started this together. If, if you weren't supposed to be my friend, then what the hell have we been doing? I don't know, but you better have a good way to explain that to the police. Fuck you, Peter. Fuck you. And I'll kill you for this, I Careful. swear that- The security cameras are still running in here, you know. Peter, I- I swear to God, this isn't going to be over for you. I'll make sure 
you burn for this? I'll make you walk walk the plank. Good night, Foxy. You're the last of the four. Everything's in order. It's been fun, Fazbear, but this career has long since run its course. Security room. Uh, how do I get in here? Fred? Fred! Fred, there's nothing. I <laughs> the animatronics were disabled, except for that. Fred, what did you do to me? I swear to God. Fred? Hello? Fred? God damn it. There's only one left. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just messing with you. I can get out the back door. I'll find Fred. I'll kill him before I leave this whole stinking town in the dust. None of you can leave, can you? You think this is my fault? I didn't do anything. You were the idiots that couldn't listen to your parents. Get back. Get the hell away from me. Get away from me, I said. Help me. Damn things are following me everywhere. This is... The spring lock suits can hide me. Help me. Help me. Help me. We'll see about that. Help me. Help me. <laughs> you stupid kids. Stupid in life and stupid in death. I'll see you all in hell. The question was, what were the future plans for uh, Fazbear Entertainment? Uh, well, since we, we've grown out of um, grown out of Fredbear's family diner, 
obviously we had some very ambitious ideas for what to do with the company. And a lot of those ideas may have been more than we were able to chew. So we've, we've gone back to the building. We, we've worked well with the police uh, to get everything resolved. And I think, I think this is going to require some small renovations to the building. Closing off a few, closing off a few rooms here and there, making sure that children can't wander, wander away from the play areas. But overall, it's a minor setback. We're confident that we'll reopen someday even if it is with a much smaller budget. They found you. With how obsessed they've been with everything, I'm not that surprised that they found you. You should have known, Peter. After everything you did, there's consequences. You don't just get away with murder. As much as I tried to help you, you can never get away with murder. You did know that I was trying to help you, didn't you? You were my friend. I always thought of you as so. You're... I knew... I knew that... I... Kept you waited. I kept you locked away for years. Years so that you could never... I've waited so long. You could never hurt anyone. Help me. Help me. Please. I just didn't know it looked like this. Please. Yeah. I can help you. I can help you, Peter, after everything that you've done to me. After everything that you've put me through. Telling me you don't dis that you don't deserve. Oh, be you son of a bitch. Do you remember the last time we talked, Peter? Do you remember when you abandoned me? When you left me before you before you became this? I told you. You'd burn for what you did to me.